We're here at the Miami Boat Show on the new Barmaha 41 and what a fishing machine it is. Now storage on this boat isn't a problem. We have a drinks cooler here with a cold plate right up here. On the bottom here, as you notice, all the hinges, there's no screws. Absolutely no screws. As we open up here, there's a massive storage area for any scuba diving tanks or any other equipment that you might have. Up at the front here, there's also another big storage box. As you notice, all the seals are all well finished. And there's also an O-ring here on the bottom, which you don't have to worry. There won't be any water coming on these. On both sides of the starboard airport, there are two big fish boxes. Which are self-draining. They can also be fitted with a cold plate. Up on the bow we have a drop-in anchor storage locker. The cleats are also pop up and the boat is also fully cushioned all around. And as you can see, the quality of finish is all around. No screws. The way the door is made, you can only find on bigger boats. And the handle. All the electronics are situated right here with an easy access. Plenty of space for your rod holders or any fishing equipment, and there's also a small marine toilet. You can see the quality built and the strength of the hardtop. Over here, we also have the handles for the outriggers. And moving forward, these center console boats are very popular here in the America, apart from the comfort and all the wide open view. It's great for fishing. All the electronics are right here, all the switches are well lit. There is a storage space right up here. Now the storage spaces on this boat never ends. Over here we have a cupboard. There's one over on the other side as well. Storage. Under here we have a drinks cooler, also with a cold plate. No storage here on the floor. O-rings all around and always very well sealed. You can see how the finishes are, very nice and clean. There won't be any water coming in through here. There's also a flush mounted plate ready for any fighting chair or high-low table. Over here, we have also storage area, but it also has see-through glass for the bilges. Now for comfort, as we sit down flying towards the Bahamas, this is great and comfortable. It'll sit up to about between five and six people. Underneath here, we also have a light bait tank. Just to run you through a few numbers, the Barnamah 41 has a fuel capacity of 575 gallons. It'll do a range of around about 450 miles and a top speed between 60 and 65 miles per hour. Oh, we just love it. The Bahama 41 just performs so well with quad engines or triples or seven marine. Uh, the quad engines work good. You got good fuel range at, at, at low RPM because the motors are just idling. You got great dockage. You got two motors forward, two motors reverse. So it really helps for maneuverability. And if you want to haul butt, you can. If you lose a motor or have a problem, you still have three to fall back on if you're traveling 100 miles or 200 miles out in the ocean. Uh, mainly people in the Bahamas like to do offshore sport fishing, sail fishing, you know, bottom fishing, traveling back to the forth of the Bahamas, going to the Keys. Even on the west coast, we've got a lot of boats that are up the whole, up the whole northeast. Now, if you are looking for a serious fishing boat, you should check out the Banar 41. Until next time, see ya.